Walton, and this morning I'm reading Skippy John Jones by Judy Schechner. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama June Bug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded. Or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mr. Doo Diggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat. Not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce, and bounce, and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed, and one through six times I land on my head. <laughs> on his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy water molly, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up he went again, and again it appeared. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I'm a chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones jumped into his toy box and rifled through some of his little junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in the muy, muy soft voice. My name is Skippito Fresquito. I feel like a single dog. My man is a little, I sleep like a little. I get the job done, yes, and you know. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jimmy B. Jones were helping Mama Jumbo make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No, said Mama Jumbo again. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road, far, far away, all in the pink gold. Not long into his journey, a mysterious band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba, who goes there? asked Kitty John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Stupito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones woke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Pepito Pito. I go in for Pito, said Skippy Do you like rice and beans? asked Pinto Lito. Si, I love mice and beans, said Skippy he might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalito. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning towards Don Diego, El Skipito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Huh? Huh? Pichu! Bless you! said Don Diego. Gracias, said Kikito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yip, yip, Yipito, it's 
it's the end of Alfredo Pusito. Skipito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bambuzito. Then all of the chili tongas went crazy local. First, they had a fiesta. Then, they took a siesta. But after waking up, that chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumblebeetle for Skipito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos so great that you could hear a whisper there. Alfredo Pusito, whispered the crowd, and Limpo Bambundito Bandito. Si, said Poquito Tito. The bandito steals our frijoles. <gasps> Not your beans, cried Skipito outraged. Si, Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston pink and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans. Pinto and jelly too. And now he comes for us. Poquito added. Por qué? Asked Spikito. Because we are full of the beans too. Then, Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles! Huh? Said Skipito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? Asked Skipito. And then all of the chimichangos turned towards Skipito, the great soul fighter. But poor Skipito had no time for a plan. Because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. That chimichango scattered in all directions. Or it is you, the bandito will eat all! They cried. Skipito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the yellow, and his teeth chattered like the cat on his. Then, in a muy, muy soft voice, he said, mm, My name is Skipito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Bozito flew straight for Skipito until the bee-eating bandito hovered only inches from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles! cried Skipito as he thrust his sword into the air. <gasps> Suddenly, pop with the bandito, landing on Skipito's sword, and quicker than one could say, Chihuahua cheese and crackers. Every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bobito, the Bumblebito bun. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yip, yip, yipito. Our hero is El Skipito. He's the dog of our dreams. We delivered the beans and now we can make our burritos. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Banguito! Crashito! Papito! Skippito! Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then, out flew candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones! Everyone cried. Hola muchachitas, he said in the new, new soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, furry kisses. What am I gonna do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his 
Oh, I'm Skippy Chan Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat. Forget about that. Say good night, Skippy Chan Jones. Call his mama. Why not more chasing the fun we go? Stay tuned for more stories from Voices of the Children Facebook page coming every day.